faculty and students of the Art Institute. Janie was talking about what a great campus you have here, and I admit it, they have skating, ice skating and all that, and the fountain, but don't forget the salmon fishing that you have <laughs> right off the lake, and, 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 and there's an enjoyment between the arts, you can go out and catch some fine fish. Proud day in Chicago, a city I know we love all of us in the city we should love more. Remember, you must have tickets. No tiki, no hot dogs. Okay. You got two tickets for hot dogs, two for pop. And we have a special treat from the Kellogg's coming. Quaker Oats uh, coming after a while. Oh, don't forget we got the hula girls over there. Mm -hmm. Hula girls, sure, they're going to take off their clothes and you're going to see their bare skin. <laughs> Watch out, there's going to be a little bit of a theft in your life. So watch out. And maybe it has something to do with this friend who isn't really a friend. They have more senior citizen facilities than in any other district in the city of Chicago, and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> That was a practice game. <laughs> you won the practice. That was a practice game. That's what I announced it. Oh. McKinley Hood. Where's McKinley Hood? There he is, right here. I don't know how I won this fight. Huh? No. I, first time I won anything in my life. I feel all the girls are worthy of winning, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner. If the guy asks you out, I think he should pay the expenses. Keep off balance. All he's doing is running at you. <laughs> <laughs> I were right in there. Father, send your blessing upon those who do the real work of our country. I, uh, 
uh, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have made their decisions and uh, they've given me the, the winners. I mean, she come up with the best answers, and she she can handle the job that's appointed to her all the way. I'm very, very proud of her. She's been with us for many years, and I love her. It's an unusual story. It's a one of a kind. Uh, there is no question of it. Uh, the actions toward the customer, if a customer walks in the door, you must give his order immediately. If not, sometimes I push him back out to read the menu on the outside. If it's too cold, I let him stand there, but I force him to talk. Hello, what do you have, Dave? What do you have? Here he is! Here he is! Get him! Get him! Joe, this guy won't talk. Maybe you can get him to talk. Sir, are you way down? I would change for a dollar. He's getting right here. The man's trying to help you. There he is, change for a dollar. Remember once sticking a knife into Freddy's arm, one of those big knives, it stuck right in there. Oh, Milwaukee, you get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. What else I didn't have a black man actually making the sandwiches. Uh, I wanted him to wait on trade, but I was scared I would lose my customers. So I told Fred I would put up crackers in front of him, boxes of crackers in front of him, so they wouldn't see his hands, to show how ridiculous it is. This is supposedly a man with ideals. You go and tear to hear you! There's a customer! Sorry, Yours, man, you're mine. What I'd rather have you. You're Johnny. Here she is, Johnny. And so we threw away the crackers. And the beautiful part of it is within two, three months, the customers were asking Freddy to wait on them because he was the nicest guy in the store. Yes, sir, right down there. Yes, sir, right in there behind this guy here. Right behind this man here. Sir, right behind this man here. You're mine. Come on. I try to analyze why these customers come in and take my grabbing them and take my forcing them to give orders. And it's always been a case where I said, maybe they're masters. I would like to have a corned beef sandwich on rye, and no mustard. They are very humanized when they walk in here, whereas where they work, they are just number four or five. They're nobody. When they come in here by my grabbing them and touching them and screaming at them, they become human beings.
here today uh, in protest of the Nazi march here in Marquette Park. We're not get them today, but we're going to get them. We'll be sure of that. We're going to get them. Yeah! 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 <laughs> oh, that's the important thing. Stand up straight, Peter. No, don't look at that. Just stand up straight. Look natural. Okay, get up there. I don't have much time. Yeah, I need the bullhorn. I gotta tell the people to go down to the park. Where's the bullhorn at? Bullhorn. You know where the bullhorn is? Anybody know where the bullhorn is? Yeah, I'm here. I gotta go bum a comb. The rally! is in the park, so we're not going to march from here. We'll see you in the park, White Power. By the time the Nazis arrived at the rally site near the southwest corner of Marquette Park, close to 5,000 people were on hand. We need an extension cord. They didn't bring it? No, they didn't bring it. Oh, shit. Do you know where it is? Why, is he talking now? Of course he's talking. Can you please get out of here? We stand for the liberty and freedom for all races, creeds, and colors. Might throw me in jail, too. Drive a bunch of pigs. Tom Brown, Glenn, Dan Walker. What were they arrested for? The Jews sense it. Yeah. They're our best spokesmen because they go around the country telling each other, you know, the time is short. Yeah. yeah. I can tell you everything I saw here is between the carnival of joy and the carnival of hell. <laughs> Picture of him now. Very nice. Uh, that's a big eagle, ain't it? What are you making a good day? Hundred bucks? I'll make as much as I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this come from? I ain't worried about it, huh? Where, we sell it on the streets, from? lady. We sell them on the streets. I don't know. Now. <laughs> I got you, I like you a saint, I like my woman, just you the 